Hey there, friends. <laughs> Welcome back to Second Star to the Left. I'm Michelle, and this is my daughter, Billy. Hi. <laughs> and here's where we'll share board game reviews, ramblings, and a few wrong turns along the scenic route. <laughs> We're back with another keep, cull, or consider video. Only this time, Billy's probably not going to let me cull anything. So this is more of a just, hey, consider That makes video. it so different from every other one. <laughs> 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 to recap from last time, we do have two games. One that got to stay and one that is... We did keep Biblios Quill and Parchment because I did play it. So mm -hmm. it gets to stay. And we are getting rid of seven bridges because nobody wanted to play it since the last Keep Color Consider. So off it goes. Mm. Oh, and, and I'm sure you're going to let me get rid of some of these. No, it's mm. not going to happen. So this video, we want to talk about not games that we want to Keep Color Consider, but expansions. I'm a bit of a collector when it comes to games, which means... If I have a game, I'm going to want all the expansions that go with it. If I have a game that gets more standalone expansions like Villainous or Unmatched or every game in the Tiny Epic series, which I guess we're going to cave on Vikings. Absolutely. You know we are. I might have a problem. <laughs> is it a problem, though? I don't know. But anyway, what that means sometimes is that I get expansions without really thinking what those expansions mean to a game because... Not every expansion makes the game better. And more importantly, some expansions keep me from wanting to play the base game at all. So we're going to talk about a couple of games that we have here and whether those expansions were a good idea or a bad idea and whether maybe we should get rid of the expansions. No. Okay, but maybe we should get rid no. of it. Okay, but no. hear me out. So we're going to start with a teeny one. And that is... Railroad Ink Challenge, and we have the lush green edition. This because looks... green is the best color. Okay, sure. We got this one because it was a different version of a game that we liked a lot. We originally had the blue edition, and then the challenge edition adds some extra mechanics into the game. But then, because we are who we are, we decided that we needed all of these... Expansions. See all the different Can colors you of dice? see them? Every little pair of dice up there is an expansion. Have we played all the expansions? No, not yet, but we will. Have we played many of the expansions? A couple. A couple. Did we need all of the expansions? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I will say, though, that for this game, it is very easy to sort out base game from expansions because it's just dice because it's just dice and it doesn't necessarily change the flow of the game you get like two new rules for each expansion and you can swap them in and out and play which ones you want i can always just play the base game whenever i want to so for me these expansions are kind of neutral they don't necessarily make it so i never want to play without the expansion and fix something in the game that was broken and they also don't make it so that it's so complicated that I don't want to play with the expansion. So these kind of fall on a the neutral expansion level. <laughs> That's what I'm calling it. Roll with me here. Did you say roll with you because it was dice? <laughs> no, yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So that was our small beginner I don't intro. give thoughts now. No, did you want thoughts? <laughs> Shut up. The next game on the list is... One of the cutest small box games that exist, especially if you're a baseball fan, and oh. that, yeah, and that is Bottom of the Ninth. Now, if you're not a baseball fan, just kind of bear Wait, with we me. We didn't here. vote on Railroad. Oh, you wanted to vote on it? We're supposed. That's the whole point of this. Okay. Show. Okay, let's pretend Billy's going to vote on this. Did you want to keep? keep? Okay. See, vote over. <laughs> what was your vote? I would have kept the, that okay. expansion. All right. You gonna let me do this one now? Maybe. Okay. We'll see how it goes. So on to bottom of the ninth again. <laughs> this is one of the cutest little small box games. And if you're a baseball fan... You need it. You need it. 
Well, you don't need it. You, you don't do. need any you games. Need it. This is literally one inning of baseball. That's all this game is. Well, it, it's not even. It's half an inning of baseball. Your team's down by a couple of runs, and you're going to try to win. And it does this great job of having you kind of bluff with what pitches you're going to throw, uses your pitcher's strength, but you can only use it a little bit or you tire them out. And then when your batter gets a hit and they go to run to first, everybody's rolling dice to see who gets there first and whoever gets what they want to roll first gets the play they wanted. So you can field the plays. It's very exciting. It's really quick. It takes five to 20 minutes to play. So I guess if you have a really good team, it's just a five minute game. And then, you know, you can switch teams if you want. We love this game. And so when the expansions came out, we thought, what could be better than more of this game? More players, more pitchers. In fact, we got this entire bottom of the ninth clubhouse expansion. Oh goodness, I forgot about that. Yeah, which has like vendors and your and there's peanut tokens for concessions and there's managers and there's I don't know what else is in here new jerseys rally caps upgrade the clubhouse okay everything that I loved about this game was that it was small and it was quick and it made me feel exactly like it was the bottom of the ninth there was all of that tension all of that like it's now or never feel to the game and then you expanded it and I thought it would be fun because the art on the cards is very old timey vintage baseball. And I love that. The only thing is, I don't ever want to play this because it makes you have to relearn the game and but relearn to other be fair, roles. We haven't played most of the editions. We played a few of the editions. I know, but because this one's better. Uh, but do we know that if we haven't tried them? Can you guess what my vote's going to be? <laughs> Can everyone guess what your vote's going to be? In this case, for me, I would say get rid of the expansion because this game doesn't need it. This game excels on the fact that it is a small and simple game. And adding in more rules, most of the time if I sit down to play it, I don't want to relearn it. So I want to play the part that I know and the part that I appreciate. I don't want to have to keep going to the rule book and resorting the decks to make sure we have the right cards. I don't, I don't want to have to go through that. So I would call this expansion. But you would too, right, Billy? No. Yeah. Keep. It's never. Ex so we're going to try it. Okay, but then do we get to get rid of the expansion? Only if we don't try it or don't like it after we try it. Stay tuned for that. Okay, so that's bottom of the ninth, which is, given what season it is, a really good time of year to try this game. What season is it? It's baseball season, ding dong. Oh, that explains all the hot dogs. Okay, now we're going to talk about one of Billy's favorite games. Yay! And that is Res Arcana. <laughs> we have both expansions in here. No, we don't. Yes, we do. We got the second one? Yeah. The reason that Billy doesn't know that we have both expansions in here is because we typically play this on BGA and most often with Jeff and Jamie from Foster the Meeple. If you're not subscribed to them, go hop on over and do it. I don't know what you're waiting for, but we do have both expansions in here. And the reason that I mixed them right into the box and kept them right with the box is because the expansions just add more of the game to the game. Because we have played both the expansions yeah. uh, when Jeff and Jamie were here visiting. Yes. Yes, we did. I like the pearls because they add just another scoring path. Plus the tokens are just really neat. Plus they look like pearls. But in this case, I don't feel like I ever need to sort the expansion from the game because it was just more of the game. The expansion made sense with the game. In this case, I think this is a positive expansion. It is. It helps. It gives you a few more options without overburdening the original rule set. Next on our list, we have one of our favorites. Oh, we didn't vote on keep, obviously. Mm -hmm. We have one of our favorites, which is Tiny Towns. When you know what we're going to vote on this. I'm sure you guys all know what we're going to vote on this. Cool. <laughs> but here's the thing. I love Tiny Towns. I love it so much that I got the sticker expansion. It's not an expansion. I just put stickers on all the houses so they look like little houses. <laughs> but we also have villagers and fortunes. However, when we sit down to play this game, we very rarely play either of those expansions because the reason that we love this game is because we know it like the back of our hand. So we can sit down and play this game anytime we want without looking up the rules, without any fuss or fuss. To be fair, the few times we have tried the expansions, we did really like them. We need to just sit down and learn them so they can become part of our routine. 
I'm not sure though. I did like the expansions, but I feel like it's just a different game with the expansions. So I don't feel like in like in the case of Res Arcana, it was kind of more of the same game, right? But in this case, I don't really feel that. I feel like it's a kind of a whole extra mini part. I don't know. It it feels very added on. I do like it. I wouldn't get rid of it because it's very, very easy to sort out. You don't have to use the expansions. It's not like they're mixed in once you play once. For me, again, this is kind of a neutral expansion because I don't need to play it. I can sit down and just play the game I know and love quickly and easily. Or if I want to, I can pull out one of the expansions and try one of those. So I would definitely keep these expansions, but I'm not sure I would always play these expansions. What about you? I think we should keep them and learn them before we decide we're not always going to play them. Yeah, but every time we sit down to learn them, and by by learn them, Billy means I have to look up all you the rules and You learn them and then tell me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just kind of want to play the game that I love. It's like comfort food, this game. Yeah, I know. But anyway, this one's definitely a keep. We wouldn't get rid of keep, these expansions. Keep, keep, keep. It's heavy. <laughs> Next up is Everdell. It's a Did, very pretty game. It is a very pretty game. And I think that's why we keep getting the very pretty expansions. Yeah. Plus you had animals that your little animals could ride on, so I couldn't resist that. But the thing is, I don't know if it made a difference in the game. I think it just made it more stuff. Yeah, I'm not sure I actually... I loved everything about how they looked, but I'm not sure I loved the expansions. No, it and the, and the truth is, I don't think I would call this game because it's so beautiful, or at least I wouldn't yet. But I'm also not sure that Everdell in general is one of my favorite games. I don't dislike it. I just... It's gorgeous, though. It is. But the problem is, because the expansions are so beautiful, we want to add them all in. And because the rule sets for the base game aren't so hard, we want to just jump right into the expansions as well. Because it's game mechanics that we're used to, mm -hmm. it's not hard for us to play it. I just don't want to have to keep flipping between rule books, which is another thing with expansions. If I don't know the base rules inside and out, and the expansion rules say, just like in the base, when you do X, Y, Z, you will do this, or they override a base rule or whatever so that I'm flipping not bet not through one rule book, but between two and three, I'm not likely to want to pull the expansion out. I need the expansion to be very straightforward or to fix something that's wrong or to add pieces that were missing from the original. I'm not sure that Everdell's expansions do that. And we have two of them, three of them. We have Pearlbrook and we have... Another one. Another one, but it's boxed in here and I don't remember which one it is. I love that little frog, dude. So Everdell, for me, I might be happier if we went back to the base game and just stuck with the base game. And then I might be more inclined to play it. You, you don't like the base game. I don't dislike the base game. I don't. But I mean, I think we should put it on consider. I think we should try just the base game. So are you considering getting rid of the base game? Uh, No, because it's pretty. Wait, so wait, is this a keep call and consider episode where you're considering culling a game that I didn't mention culling? Possibly. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see next time. Everdell and expansions might be on the list. Yeah, they won't be. It's so pretty though. I have saved the inspiration for this episode for last. The reason that I wanted to talk about whether or not expansions made a game better. What is it? And Can't... this is the reason. Oh, yeah. This oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. is our collection of Star Realms. It's not even the biggest collection that you can have because we got this a while back from some expansions and packs and promos and everything that we picked up along the way. And here's the thing. I don't think that they make the game better. I think that I don't ever want to play this game because now I have to sort through all this. It's unwieldy. The joy of Star Realms was that it was this, at the time, very original deck builder in a tiny card box. And you could throw it in a bag and take it anywhere. It had an easy rule set. It had clever rules. It was one of the first straight deck builders we played after like Dominion. I love Dominion. I know you love Dominion. We need more expansions for Dominion. 
Let's see what I'm dealing with. But I have more than once said to Billy, I think we should just get the original Star Realm so that we can play it. What does that say about having this big box that I would rather buy the original set than sort through this to find the original <laughs> set and play it? That I would rather have that little I believe deck it says box. that we have spending problems, impulse control issues. <laughs> it does say that. But also, it <laughs> says that in the end... While this all seemed fun to get more ships and more bases and more different ways to play, all I really wanted was that small deck box full of cards because that's why we loved the game to begin with. So this was one of the reasons for this video. The idea that just wanting to have more and more and more of a game doesn't necessarily get you to play the game more. And in a lot of cases, it made us play the game less because we didn't want to deal with the expansions, because we didn't want to sort through them, especially the ones that get mixed in. And then in order to play again, you have to pull the expansions back out mm -hmm. or relearn everything again. I think some games, even though they have expansions, benefit from just keeping the base game, especially when you get as many new games as we do. And so you're only playing the games once or twice before they go up on a shelf for six months or seven months because then when you pull them back out you have to relearn them and if you're relearning the base game you don't want to throw expansions in so you say we'll play the expansion next time but you never do uh, somebody remind me of this video when the <laughs> next expansion comes out for one of my favorite games because i will inevitably be pre-ordering it so it gets here right on the day that it releases because we never learn no <laughs> Learning is for nerds. So let me know in the comments, is there a game that you bought expansions for that you don't play as much because you bought those expansions? Is there a game where the expansion made all the difference and you would never play without it again? What are your thoughts on this? Do you think expansions always make the games better? I know the best expansion. What's the best expansion? I bet you can guess what I think the best expansion is. I can guess. Evolution Climate. Evolution Climate. Oh, yeah, that one's so good that they just made it its own. <laughs> you just buy it with Climate now. That is a good expansion. I didn't put it on here. No, I'm sorry. it should never be because anywhere you near would a never call list. it. Would you call this if we got the original yeah, setback? Probably. I just would. That's not even a consider. I would say call for that. If I had the little deck box all by itself, I would just call this set. But we don't. But we don't. But maybe we will. You never know. <laughs> Thank you for watching. If you like what you see. Or if you'd like to keep watching until we get one right. Then please like, subscribe, and share. If you want to find us elsewhere on social media, including in our Discord, all of that information will be down below. As always, open tables, open minds, and play yourselves. Even the expansions. <laughs> I hurt my hand. Do you want to say bye? Bye! The only thing is... I should stand the other one up so they can... So they can see the vintage. Nothing was, was, um, what's the word I'm looking for? What's a less nerdy way of saying extraneous? Extra. Over the top. Too much. No. Unnecessary. No. Okay. There's a word I'm looking for. Like whale legs. No, I'm serious. Like whale legs or gallbladder. Unnecessary. Well, that's, mm, if you want to use the word, use the word. Well, I need to think of the word. Uh, oh, um, like when, when you evolve something, but then you don't need it, but it sticks around anyway. Stitching? Yes. <laughs> yes. I don't remember the context I was going to use it in, but I couldn't go without <laughs> remembering the word. <laughs> it doesn't seem to make sense, no, but no. I was mad that I couldn't remember okay, the word. Okay, but did you want to say something that makes sense? This is a good game with sort of the expansions. Thank you for all of your help. <laughs> it's not any of the things I was trying to find words for. I was trying to find words for to the way to There's like optic scorpion barfing lasers on the side. Okay, that's probably an expansion. <laughs>